is um, a ball. I better put some thought into this. I know, I'll ask four different people to define media studies. Be right back, this might take a few minutes. That didn't help me very much. I got four different answers. I'm still wondering, what is media studies? On to plan B, I guess, which is to review some academic literature. So I'll have to leave you waiting again, but be patient. Good research can take time. All right, I'm back after reviewing eight sources of academic literature, but still no definition of media studies. At least now, though, I'm starting to understand why. See, according to one scholar, media studies is an interdisciplinary field with no easy boundaries or parameters. Lull contends that media studies is a synthesis of a broad and comprehensive array of key themes, theories, and perspectives. This is consistent with Downing, who wrote that media studies has various strands and components emphasized in different ways. Downing also asserts that there is little point in trying to reduce this ultimate diversity to any central definition of the field. So media studies is difficult to define, but we still need a means of answering the question, what is media studies? Some see the value in mapping out the field of media studies, so its contours and parameters provide some idea of the interconnections between them. Others, however, warn against using maps because there's always a danger of playing favorites. Consider for a moment a quote by James Lull. Privileging certain theoretical traditions, literatures, and empirical domains according to some imagined hierarchy of intrinsic work or correctness is a violent form of theoretical decontextualization and is among the worst variety of academic politics. So now we've been warned about both mapping the field of media studies and defining the field of media studies. So perhaps the question, what is media studies, needs to be changed to what does media studies entail? Well, first of all, it involves media, tools and mechanisms used to store and disseminate information, like cave paintings, photos, newspapers, and books. And don't forget about electronic media, like radio, television, computer-mediated and digital communication, like the internet. Those involved with media studies must concern themselves with investigating the history, content, and effects of media. This is why many refer to media studies as being interdisciplinary. To fully understand media and its effects, it must be studied through the lenses of communication studies, cultural studies, philosophy, psychology, political science, economics, sociology, art, history. We could go on here. By no means is this an exhaustive list. The field of education has become particularly important in media studies, where teachers help to develop knowledge, skills, and the disposition students need to understand and use media as informed and active citizens. It is crucial that society develop an informed and critical understanding of the nature of media, the message contained in the media, the techniques used by them, and the impact of these media. So, I guess to revisit our question, what is media studies? Media studies is complicated, dangerous to map, difficult to define, but very important.